Today, I want to introduce you guys to angle bisector theorem, which I think, like Pythagorean theorem and a myriad of other, other theorems in Euclidean geometry, has an immense number of applications, angle bisector theorem. And I think it, this is very important to know, not just for the sake of competition math, we, we, for which you have to know angle bisector theorem, but just if even if you're just having fun with Euclidean geometry, angle bisectors pop out a lot. And knowing this theorem can help you prove other more complex, sophisticated theorems, or just get you some questions done when you have angle bisectors that pop up. Up. So, let me start by drawing a triangle. So let's draw out a triangle ABC. Let's call this A, call this, call this B, call this C. So you have a triangle ABC drawn right here. And let's say you have an angle bisector. So you have an angle bisector from B, let's say intersecting at D. So angle bisector is the one that divides the angle into two equal pieces. So this angle, angle ABD, is equal to angle DBC. So these two have the same measure. And angle bisector theorem tells you, let me just label a few parts. Let's call this A, let's call this B, and you're dividing the opposite side. The angle bisector is dividing the side AC into X and Y. Angle bisector theorem tells you, A divided by B is equal to x divided by y. So that's angle bisector theorem. And I'm going to make a future video where I prove angle bisector theorem. And that should be uploaded by the time you guys check this video out. And you may see some eye popping up and you can click on the side to go to my video where I prove this this fascinating theorem. But I in this video, I want to focus on introduction and maybe applying this question into one example. So you have A over B, so you have this part over this part. So A and B are the sides that's not, that's not divided by the angle bisector. And the angle bisector is dividing the side into two pieces, X and Y, and the ones that's adjacent, the ones that's right next to each other, and the B, so A and X are right next to each other, and B and Y are right next to each other, and you know, you can just make a ratio, A over B, A over B, is equal to x over y, and that's what angle bisector theorem is. So let's try to apply angle bisector theorem to this question. So you have 4, 6, 20x, and you wish to find x. By just applying angle bisector theorem, you know 4 divided by 6 is equal to 2 divided by x. That's a straightforward application of angle bisector theorem. This thing divided by this thing is equal to this thing divided by this thing when you have angle bisector. So this thing gets you the 4 over 6 is the same thing as 2 thirds. So you know 2 thirds is the same thing as 2 over x, and it's pretty obvious since 2 are the same up top, x and 3 has to be the same. So our x is 3, and we are done. And this is what angle bisector theorem is.